In mathematics, specifically in algebraic geometry and algebraic topology, the Lefschetz hyperplane theorem is a precise statement of certain relations between the shape of an algebraic variety and the shape of its subvarieties. More precisely, the theorem says that for a variety X embedded in projective space and a hyperplane section Y, the homology, cohomology, and homotopy groups of X determine those of Y. A result of this kind was first stated by Solomon Lefschetz for homology groups of complex algebraic varieties. Similar results have since been found for homotopy groups, in positive characteristic, and in other homology and cohomology theories. A far-reaching generalization of the hard Lefschetz theorem is given by the decomposition theorem. Topic the Lefschetz hyperplane theorem for complex projective varieties Let X be an n-dimensional complex projective algebraic variety in CPN, and let Y be a hyperplane section of X such that U equals XY is smooth. The Lefschetz theorem refers to any of the following statements: the natural map H k y z H k x z in singular homology is an isomorphism for k. The natural map H k x z H k y z in singular cohomology is an isomorphism for k. The natural map pi k y z pi k x z is an isomorphism for k. The relative singular homology groups H k x y z are zero for k n minus one. Display style k l e q n one. The relative singular cohomology groups H k x y z are zero for k n minus one. Display style k l e q n one. The relative homotopy groups pi k x y are zero for k n minus one. Display style k l e q n one. Topic: Lefschetz's proof. Solomon Lefschetz used his idea of a Lefschetz pencil to prove the theorem. Rather than considering the hyperplane section Y alone, he put it into a family of hyperplane sections Y T, where Y equals Y zero. Because a generic hyperplane section is smooth, all but a finite number of Y T are smooth varieties. After removing these points from the T plane and making an additional finite number of slits, the resulting family of hyperplane sections is topologically trivial. That is, it is a product of a generic Yt with an open subset of the T plane. X, therefore, can be understood if one understands how hyperplane sections are identified across the slits and at the singular points. Away from the singular points, the identification can be described inductively. At the singular points, the Morse lemma implies that there is a choice of coordinate system for X of a particularly simple form. This coordinate system can be used to prove the theorem directly. <laughs> Andriotti and Frankel's proof equals Aldo Andriotti and Theodore Frankel recognized that Lefschetz's theorem could be recast using Morse theory. Here the parameter t plays the role of a Morse function. The basic tool in this approach is the Andriotti Frankel theorem, which states that a complex affine variety of complex dimension n and thus real dimension 2n has the homotopy type of a CW complex of real dimension n. This implies that the relative homology groups of y in X are trivial in degree less than n. The long exact sequence of relative homology then gives the theorem equals topic 
Toms and Bots proofs. Equals. Neither Lefschetz's proof nor Andriotti and Frankel's proof directly imply the Lefschetz hyperplane theorem for homotopy groups. An approach that does was found by René Tom no later than 1957 and was simplified and published by Raoul Bott in 1959. Tom and Bott interpret Y as the vanishing locus in X of a section of a line bundle. An application of Morse theory to this section implies that X can be constructed from Y by adjoining cells of dimension n or more. From this, it follows that the relative homology and homotopy groups of Y in X are concentrated in degrees n and higher, which yields the theorem. Equals. Topic Kadaira and Spencer's proof for Hodge groups equals Kunihiko Kadaira and Donald C. Spencer found that under certain restrictions, it is possible to prove a Lefschetz type theorem for the Hodge groups H, P, Q. Specifically, assume that Y is smooth and that the line bundle O X Y display style math call O underscore X Y is ample. Then the restriction map H P Q X H P Q Y is an isomorphism if P plus Q H Q X P omega X display style H caret Q X text style big wedge caret P omega underscore X and H Q Y P omega Y display style H caret Q Y text style big wedge caret P omega underscore Y Therefore, the theorem follows from applying the Akazuki Nakano vanishing theorem to H Q X P omega X Y display style H caret Q X text style big wedge caret P omega underscore X underscore Y and using a long exact sequence. Combining this proof with the universal coefficient theorem nearly yields the usual Lefschetz theorem for cohomology with coefficients in any field of characteristic zero. It is, however, slightly weaker because of the additional assumptions on Y. Topic: <laughs> Artin and Grothendieck's proof for constructible sheaves. Michael Artin and Alexander Grothendieck found a generalization of the Lefschetz hyperplane theorem to the case where the coefficients of the cohomology lie not in a field but instead in a constructible sheaf. They prove that for a constructible sheaf F on an affine variety U, the cohomology groups H K U F Display style h caret k u f vanish whenever k greater than n. Display style k greater than n. Topic: The Lefschetz theorem in other cohomology theories. The motivation behind Artin and Grothendieck's proof for constructible sheaves was to give a proof that could be adapted to the setting of a tail and display style l attic cohomology. Up to some restrictions on the constructible sheaf, the Lefschetz theorem remains true for constructible sheaves in positive characteristic. The theorem can also be generalized to intersection homology. In this setting, the theorem holds for highly singular spaces. A Lefschetz type theorem also holds for Picard groups. Topic: <laughs> Hard Lefschetz theorem. Let X be a n-dimensional non-singular complex projective variety in C P n 
display style math b c p caret n then in the cohomology ring of X, the k-fold product with the cohomology class of a hyperplane gives an isomorphism between H n minus k x display style H caret n k x and H n plus K x display style h caret n plus k x. This is the hard Lefschetz theorem, christened in French by Grothendieck more colloquially as the Théorème de Lefschetz Vaché. It immediately implies the injectivity part of the Lefschetz hyperplane theorem. The hard Lefschetz theorem in fact holds for any compact collar manifold, with the isomorphism in de Rham cohomology given by multiplication by a power of the class of the collar form. It can fail for non collar manifolds, for example, Hopf surfaces have vanishing second cohomology groups, so there is no analogue of the second cohomology class of a hyperplane section. The hard Lefschetz theorem was proven for display style L attic cohomology of smooth projective varieties over algebraically closed fields of positive characteristic by Pierre Deligne 1980 